up. Hi. Hello. Hi guys. Welcome to Burn and Bear It. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my god, I'm not. <laughs> Cinema. We need to figure out. We're on. I'm Bear. I'm Bryn. This is Barrett. No, we do. Got fluff a little bit. Okay. Hey guys. And we're rolling. I'm Barrett. I'm Bryn. And we are trying something new. We want to share just kind of a basic natural everyday go to school go to work mm -hmm. um, makeup tutorial and just kind of compare how we do things similar and different in the products we use we are not makeup artists this is really we basic have never hair. done a video so this might be a little painful to watch so i usually start with my face oh me too okay <laughs> why first step is i usually make sure i prime with um a moisturizer to make sure that my face isn't like gross and like dry. How about you? I do too, but my primer is in Eau Claire. Oh, your primer. So I'll use you this for my birch box. Oh, I'm using a birch box thing too. I'm using for my primer Professional. I'm using this stuff. I love it. Oh, I got that in my birch box. Uh huh. Yeah. It's like a hydrating treatment, but it's nice because you don't have to wash it off. I usually only put primer on like my, I don't even know what this is called. Is this the T-zone? No, this is the T-zone. Oh, well I put it on my nose and my cheeks and then here because this is where I tend to like, like my makeup cracks on my smile line. It's kind of, you know, annoying. Because she always smiles way too much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so regarding foundation, this is kind of a bad time to like show because They're I'm so... very in between colors. Yeah, so I'm actually going to borrow can. hers, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I do. Like my okay, go-to favorite, favorite foundation is this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, but it's not something you want to buy two of, so I bought this Maybelline Fit Me in a darker color for summer, but I'm like a perfect in-between, so. Well, and Giorgio Armani's really, I feel like it's really like liquidy. You have my um, blender brush. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like, like this, this is my other foundation I go to one, but I can't use it right now because it's way too dark for my skin but Becca foundation is the best I used to literally buy tons of different foundations and ever since I got this one I feel like yeah I haven't gone back this like stays in one place which is nice for like right now because I have pimples all over my face but my mom okay really so when I'm applying I put my stuff directly onto my sponge and I'm gonna do this one and I got it wet so I like had no idea my friend Sydney's super into makeup like she's probably gonna look at this video and cringe just like, <laughs> at how not right i'm doing everything but i got i gave her like my beauty blender and she's like get it wet i was like what oh, sorry. oh my god you just like <laughs> sorry <laughs> all my stuff and she was like you were supposed to get it wet before you use it and, and i like gonna mix both did not them. know that so i had been doing it wrong the whole time i don't know i kind of need this is kind of getting gross it's probably like mold in there oh mine is supposed to be purple <laughs> it gets gross it gets but gross. i'm asking for a new one for christmas and like that little cleaner thing I ordered these off of Birchbox a long time ago, and it's so nice because they came in this little case. So I take them everywhere I go. Coastal Scents, very dirty though. Brushes, they come with like literally everything, like this, this, everything, and I love it. Are they a stanchel piece? They're a stanchel. I mean, I use them like multiple times a day. The one time I got a text from her, when we were doing a vlog, and she's like, how do you spell stanchel? And I was like, stanchel. I was like, what? She's like, stanchel? I was like, it's not, that's not a word. Yes, it is. And, All the but it like actually applies to like things that we need to use, so. Peace. I think I might make it a word now. I think so it I means like, it kind of, bit. it's a cross between it's like, like a go -to substantial. Piece. Like, like you need a, like you a, need staple. a stanchel. A staple. V-neck. Shirt. Sure. So then when I'm done with that, I take I have this NYX, um, NYX concealer. I use, I just ordered more of this because I'm pretty much out, but it's on its way. Everyone knows of it. NARS. NARS concealer. It is the best concealer. So I put it I under my about. heavy, heavy bags and on my nose, on my mustache, and on my little. You should put it on your eyelids. Okay, I heard that's a new up and coming trend. It is. Because, like, look at my eyelids right now, they're pink. So when I'm like really wintry, I use light one, and when it's like normal skin color, like when I'm not like pasty, I get light two. 
such a wow. Nice. It's like when I cover up a zit, I make sure I use a really light one. Barrett is getting texts up the yang yang and it's really distracting. I know I should have put my phone on do not disturb. I'm kidding. It's my group me. Okay, so she's still concealing. And then after I put on this Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation that smells so, so good. Mm -hmm. And people like, actually say, like, oh my god, like your makeup smells good. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard it when I've used that before. And I do this again for that, like these two smile lines. Like, I don't know, they just start to show. So I feel like, because I don't bake my face, I just, I'm not at that level, I guess. We're still learning. We're, yeah. So, 23, still learning how to 20. put makeup on my face. So that's how I look when I'm done. Nothing great. Actually, it's pretty good artwork. But I like to let it sit on my face while yours looks good. And then I do my brows. Ooh, brows. I usually actually do that first, so. But this is not a true routine. My brow routine's nothing major, so I have super light eyebrows, so I get them tinted. But I really can get away with just this Maybelline um, pencil from Target. And even when I like go into like Ulta and I'm like, oh, like I really want cool like brow stuff, they're like, oh, yours look really nice. What do you use? And I'm like, it's my drugstore product, so maybe she's going to advertise it. it. I'm just born with. No, I'm just kidding. So I comb first and I comb up, 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 up. Cause I just love that, that the Gigi Hadid brow, you know? How she so it's like, yeah, things going on. So comb up. And then I, now that thin eyebrows aren't in anymore, thank God. Yeah, no. So I use this brow conditioning primer. I was looking at that before we started. I don't, I don't get it. I love it. And mine's almost out. But it's like, this, this like clear, I don't know, gel. And it just like primes your eyebrows, like it puts a coat over them so that they're bigger and then it like gels. Like, and it keeps them in place probably. It keeps them in place, that's exactly it. No, but usually if I'm like going for like a going out look, I'll do pencil and then I'll put like a gel over. But I wasn't feeling okay, it. Okay, I'm not, I need to blend in my <laughs> concealer. Yeah, you need to like major blend. Sorry guys. And then Benefits Give Me Brow, I bought it as like a one um, I'll come back package. I'll come back to it because I'm staring at my scary face. And then I just, I continue to comb up. And like, I have eyebrow pigment from like here to here, and then it's like so sparse, so I really focus yeah, on. Yeah, my eyebrows like don't really grow right here, so I just have to like pretend. Yeah, like, and then look at that, I have like this nice brow. And then my next step, is my Kim Kim K contour kit, and I've actually kind of stopped using the highlighter because I feel like it's not like boom enough for me. It doesn't like do much for me, but I love this contour stick because it just blends so well and looks so natural. And it's like a cream, so I put it like this all the way down my is face. Is that how she does it in the video? Um, she kind of does like all these different things, and then I put a okay, little so bit. Then on my nose. What I do is lightly, because I don't like when my skin looks powdery. Um, I All my powders are, well, I only use two powders on my face, basically. I use our Bare Minerals. First, I go over with just like a regular one. I use this shade Light Beige. And then I go over with a Mineral Veil, because I just feel like if you go over with it, maybe it's just like on my head, but I feel like it blends it a lot better. Like, there's no, like, if I, like, miss a spot, I feel like the Mineral Veil actually, like, helps. My friend Sydney always puts bronzer here. <laughs> So I do. I do too. I don't know like what it does. It's a thing. If it like defines it helps your face. These. Oh. Okay, well. See, it's kind of like a natural like little contour. And then if I ever need a little extra contour, I use this hula. I love that stuff. Mm hmm But usually I only use this if I'm going out. Like I don't need like these cheekbones for my like one class on Mondays. You know, but Oh, you like pulled my hair. Sorry. <laughs> okay, cute. So cute. And then I like a light face, so I have this dandelion. I also think I make a lot of weird faces now that I'm like watching myself put makeup on. I know. I'm like, so let me do a quick wash like this. Real quick. Oh, I think I forgot my setting spray. I have some you can borrow. I prefer to not wear eyeshadow on like the daily just because like I have really light skin and I don't know. I just feel like whenever I wear eyeshadow it looks like I'm going to like a formal event or something. So I literally just put concealer on my eyes like this. 
And then I put mascara on. And that's all I do for my eyes. I have two more face steps. So I have this. Did you I get this two. in like an Ipsy? Like what is this from? Yeah, I got one month's worth of Ipsy. And, and you're, this is like probably five years old. I like and it's need so a highlighter. Like, trashy looking, but it's it a works really good so product. Well. Oh, it just came out and it broke. Sad. <clears> this has <throat> actually never happened. Okay, but anyway. My mascara I use, I brought my travel size because I'm traveling. <laughs> um, but I an hour away. Have I use the Benefit Roller Lash mascara. It's my favorite. Um I don't know. I have that too. I've used it for a while now. I like a lot of different mascaras, but this one's definitely my favorite for daily because it's like not like in my last face. Oh my gosh! What? Did you get this for the birthday Sephora yeah, thing? Oh party. my god. Yeah. I'm obsessed with it too. Well, okay, so we both have this. Um, I was gonna introduce it because it's my birthday month. Okay, well, I had a birthday <laughs> month first. So, um, my friend Devin told me, like, it's in science for, like, males, and this applies to animals and humans, like, to be more attracted to women that look healthy. And well, so, yeah. a part of health is, like, having a little color in your cheeks. And so, I was like, oh my god. So now I make sure, even if it's like super slight, you can kind of barely see it in the camera. We're like in front of like a window trying to We're first have good first. lighting and now it's like the sun's on my face, face, but okay, you cannot see it. Yeah, I don't know, you can't really see it in the camera, but I promise in Far away you can. It's a little flushed. Oh yeah. Oh, we have the whole contour highlight combo. It's looking good. Okay. Okay, so usually, I wear mascara, but I actually just tried out extensions, so I don't need... And they look really good. Yeah. Here, I'll do this toward my face. I really like how they turned out. What's up? <laughs> but I had a friend um, do them, and I really, really liked them. So what are you I doing? Like combing them. Oh. Because otherwise they clump. I think I will someday in my life get eyelash extensions. I'm just too busy. Was that it? Yeah. And like I need to find a good place. Like I let her experiment. <laughs> okay. And then when she finds a good place, then I move here. So then one of the last things I do is I take eyeshadow primer and I put it like under and I like kind of blend it up. My makeup brushes are not okay. Yeah, see that gives me. Mom, if you see this, get me makeup brushes for Christmas. Um, one of our eyelash things that we love to do, we talked about last night in bed, when she got her hers done, she, like, made sure to get this look, and I was like, oh my god, I do that when I wear mascara, is I never, like, go, like, up, I go, like, Yeah, I got outside. the, I got the wing, how they get, like, kind of. Because I feel like it just looks more, like, flirty, and, like. Yeah, how they go, like, out. So I always, like, brush into the outside. So I take my Tartlet palette next. I'm obsessed. I know when I got really hooked on that Tartlet. And it's nice. You got it me this good. for, like, Christmas, I think, It's weird. Year. It, like, smells really good, like, cocoa. Yeah, it does. So I use like a really light color. This is called Funny Girl. Yeah. Any light color. And I just put it in my tear ducts and like under. And then that way it kind of like opens up my eyes and wow, okay, I apologize for the lighting. But I Oh don't get so close. Oh, it's probably my mirror. See it. And I'm using it. Okay. So there's that. Um so she's I kind such of a have dog. Here. Don't get too close because then you can see all my mishaps. Your mishaps? Mm. Okay, cute. The NARS dual pack. Um, when I run out of this, I'm definitely buying more of both of them. Because I'm obsessed with, especially the blush. Is that the orgasm, the orgasm blush? blush? It is so good. And like the bronzer is really good too. I like it because it's sparkly, but like when it's fall time, I don't really know if I want my skin shimmery, but I'm going to go for it anyway. And then, like, the last thing, I'll take, like, a medium brown. I'm going to take this color. It's called Smarty Pants. Good for class. And I just put it, if I'm not wearing eyeshadow, it's still, like, I don't know. I kind of like a little she definition. She, like, looks really good in eyeshadow. I just, I, I love it. It's, like, painting. It's, like, just something easy. I just kind of put it up there, and then it gives me a little more definition. I'm just too scared to like wear eyeshadow on my lid with my new extensions. Like I haven't quite gotten comfortable. Oh, you haven't? You didn't put any on? No, I only oh. put it on up here. Oh. And then um, can I go with a smaller brush? I'll put on like a. These brushes are great, and I rarely have to clean them. Okay, I probably should clean them. 
That was disgusting. I don't know if you could see that. It just like rained out product. I'm gonna put a light color up against my brow bone. I'm using the orgasm color now. On my cheeks, over here. Then my favorite highlighter, aside from the Becca highlighter, but is through, I really like, I don't know how I heard of this, but I think I got it at Ulta. And I think that like this girl was so cute. Um, Mary Lou, I think is oh the Bomb Cosmetics, and this highlighter is really good. I use it like ever since I bought it, so it's almost. See, gone. I need something like that as opposed to my. Ratchet, it's like my go-to. I got this like rose. years ago, and I still like I use it every day. Like even when I don't have makeup on, I still like put this on, and it can. I guess you can use it as an eyeshadow too. I've never tried it. It looks gross, but it's like a really light shimmery pink. Not even pink. It's like a white. Champagne. champagne. Yeah. Whoa. Champagne for sure. <laughs> and then I take a thick, uh, firm brush. Ew. It's like raining out. I'm putting it right there. Hmm. You've never heard you put eyeliner on your brow? I don't know if you I just put like white eyeshadow. Is there a highlighter? Because I know everything that's going to look like. Well. Wow, I look different from 22 minutes ago. Last but not least, um, I feel like everyone who gets this product like literally lives or dies by it. The Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Apparently, they, they've come out with like colored ones now, and I really want to try them out, like a green powder or something. Oh yeah, I like for color. Correctness. Because I do see photos. This has yet to happen to me. It's I don't. It's because I don't go crazy with it, but like I do see people who take photos and like their face looks white, like, and not good. But I just go like this. Because also one of my pet peeves is when I'm like sitting in class or out and about and I touch my face and it feels like I have like makeup oil. on it. And like this literally makes it just feel like my skin. And it sets everything in place really well and it doesn't like cover up anything. Like you can still see all my contour, all my highlighter, all that stuff. And then I take this brush and I just put it right here to set the concealer. Do you wipe it off? No. Oh, I just blend it in real well. Because now literally I feel like it feels like my skin, not like I have a lot of makeup on. Hmm. See? Makeup. Ooh. Hers feels fine too, I guess. I don't even know if you're supposed to put this all over your face, but I have every single <laughs> time I've bought it. I've used it. Again. And I got this too. This will be my t second year having this. And there's still like, I use this every day. Like almost like every day I put makeup on. And there's still so much in here. And because it's a little pricier. But it's worth it. 110% worth it. I thought you were going to say $110. I was like, $110 what? is worth a perfectness. Yeah, it's like not worth it. I used to hate when people wear lip gloss. Like I thought it looked really... Tacky. Your eyelash extensions fell off. Oh. But I got this in my birch box, and it's by Pixie, which you can get at Target. And it's also a lip plumper, and I feel like when I put it on, I just, like, everything looks good. You should put it on, too. You know, I choose it first. If anything, I would, like, clear lip glosses. I like, like, wearing chapsticks, and, like, I don't like wearing eyeshadow, and I don't really like wearing any lipstick. <laughs> so, when I got this, like, every time I put it on, and I'm driving in my car, and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, ooh, I like that lip gloss. So it's in like my new thing. I'm like, like hmm. only be into it for a little bit, but right now I am into it. I put it on every day. It's probably my routine. See? It just kind of looks like, like finish. Cute. <laughs> my hair down for you. There you go. Let, let the locks fly. Hope you liked our very, look at this cute scrunchie. And professional. Chill. Yeah, this is literally. Like, I love We didn't even makeup. put that much thought into it. We just love putting makeup on, so we wanted to put it on for all of you guys. And usually I'd finish with a setting spray. Oh, I have some you can borrow. I got this, like, Kula sunscreen. What? This piece of hair. What? We I got, got this from got my Birchbox as well. Bye. A ton of what I have is Birchbox. Oh, you probably have a nice one. Not nice. I got this for my... <laughs> when I went to prom. <laughs> um... Like, what, five years ago when I go to prom? Because it was called All Night. And I'm like, well, I'm going to be dancing all night. So I, I need to get it. That stuff smells like sunscreen. That's because it's a sunscreen brand. It actually has sunscreen so Oh, it. yes. Actually, Kula. I sprayed that on my face when I went to the beach one time. Yeah, it's SPF 30, which I but kind of like. I'd say that this 
is a really well known like setting spray that I feel like everyone who uses setting spray uses like Urban Decay. So I've used it every single time. I haven't switched. I haven't really had the chance to try other products. So I guess I'd be open to it, but it's like why I really like it. You already like what you have, you know. Mm -hmm. I just stay perfect all day. Wow, <laughs> that's conceited. <laughs> Final product. This is just our day to day. Literally every day. Easy peasy. It takes makeup. us less than a half hour. Yeah, less. I'd say like less than 15 minutes. Yeah, but we're too busy blabbing. So I give it like a 15, 20 minute. And yeah. all these products are all reasonable. Like, we're we'll college link kids. everything that we use in um, our blog post that we put this video on so that you can kind of see where we get them and like remember their names. No promises about the ratchet. Yeah, no promises <laughs> about that. that. No promises. Not even sure where it's from. I like this lip gloss. I know. See, like I thought, I was like, oh, lip gloss, and now I like, I really like it. And it's a drugstore brand. Love that. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Let us know. I don't know. If you can keep doing this, because my makeup routine changes by the season. Yeah, I, I'm a huge eyeshadow person, so I'll probably come skincare. out with some more. Yeah, she's could better go, at skin. I'm better at like the about, eyes. Like, ten years on my skincare routine, so we could do that. Bye. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs> Next, <laughs> I think I'm going to do a hair tutorial because this looks like praying mantis. This is my hair tutorial called the... It's the Jew, Jew Curl? Jerry Curl? Yeah, like Elvis Presley Curl. Yeah. She I like the straight word. <laughs> she looks like Danny Zuko and I look like a octopus <laughs> with Lord this. Farquhar. This is... Hair curled yesterday. Here, I'm just... She just almost wiped her white sweater on my perfectly made up face. Oh my gosh. <laughs>